Welcome back to Weppner Farms Productions. We uh, got a little bit of rain last night. It's kind of sprinkle tinkling right now. And it's the morning, and we're just gonna go do some chores, I guess. See, uh, see what we can get ourselves into today. You never know on a day like today. So first order of business, we got this cow over here. Over here. She's got mastitis. We gotta give her a treatment of today to help her clear that up. Here she is. She's a little bit older cow. Until she's a little bit dirty. She hasn't been taking care of herself. Because she obviously has not been feeling the greatest. But we're going to give her some treatment. And that's going to help her turn around. I'm going to try to get her up in the stall here. She cooperates. Hi, girly. Come on. Yeah, she's super cooperative this morning. Maybe she just wants to go in a different stall. All right, here we are. So her left rear quarter is the one that we got to treat here. So I'm gonna start stripping the tip. And seeing if there's any mastitis to strip out. She's not super mastitis -y, so I don't think there's gonna be much. If any chunks, you can just tell there's a little bit of discoloration to it. If I can even get any, yeah. So, get a cleaner tea done with a wipe. Here, just an alcohol wipe. get it cleaned off good so that we don't get any extra bacteria in there. And I got this tube of today. Push it up there. Give her udder a little massage. Get it all worked up in there. Buttercup gets to go home today. This is 327. Her name is Buttercup. She had mastitis. And she seems to be cleaned up, so I'm going to open up this gate and chase her out into the big pen again. She goes back out here, it's says pen five. What are you doing? Go back, go back home. Come on. There you go. No, you're not coming in here. All right, so that pretty much concludes my cows today. So um, cows have been doing really good lately. So that's always good. The less, less you have to do with the cows, the better as far as healthy cows, because unhealthy cows obviously have to do more with them. The less cows you have to do something with, the, the better health your herd is in. So that's good. Now I'm going to go check out the pre-fresh. We got ourselves a lift here. This has all of our cows in the pre-fresh. I think there's actually more cows on here because I printed it off for longer than what should be in here. And it has their due date if they're supposed to have twins and then it's got its sire in there. So if we're using sex semen, if we're using Angus calves, whatever we're using or whatever we bred them with, we know that way if we have a few calves born at the same time, we can keep the right calf to the right cow and keep it updated in the computer that way so we don't mix up our data. So we got a can of pink tail paint. I found this to be the best color, especially for black cows. It shows up the best, I think, and it seems to last the longest. So that's why I choose pink. Otherwise, orange seems to work. Uh, green, hard to see. Orange isn't quite as good as pink, but it works. Yeah, gonna go mark these cows up. Almost all of them are locked up. There's two stragglers. She might lock up, yes. But we're just gonna go right down the line and mark them up. Alright, one down, about 15 more to go. So 
So check this out. Went to mark cows. We got two cows here. Better do today. They don't look like they're gonna have calves today, but they're due today. So yeah, it's kind of part of why I mark them because I mean, you can look at them and say they're not gonna have calves, but they're due today. Also notice there's a lot of cows due on the 14th, so hopefully that's my weekend off. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six cows due on the 14th. That's almost half the cows in this pen. So yeah, they're all marked up. They got pretty markings on their back and enjoying some feed. So that concludes this portion of my job. I don't see anybody that has to come out today, but we're definitely gonna keep an eye on those two that are gonna be past due. Those calves might be a little overcooked by the time they come out. Working hard or hardly working? Hardly working. That figures. What's the project? Doing an overhaul. Big 605 mixture tractor. Oh boy. He needs it. He needs it. All the panels are already off the sides. 35,000 hours. First overhaul. She's a unit. No major work done. There's been a couple little things, but 35,000 hours. Mixer tractor. Ready for new life to go another 35,000, hopefully. Be pretty, pretty cool. Overseas tractor. Next order of business. We gotta transfer some grain because I wanna make it till next week. We have been getting bulk grain and putting it in these chemical totes. And we got just enough totes that if we have all but, we can have like two full ones, two full totes, and then we can get a truck unloaded and get bulk price. But I have three, four full totes right now, so nice if we could stretch it till next week and get some grain Monday or Tuesday. So I'm gonna shovel about eight pails over into this one, and then I'm gonna take this one into that barn over there because we use a lot more grain over there. So we'll have pretty much a full tote in there. Should have just enough grain here to carry us over till next week. And then we'll be able to hopefully get all these totes just about empty by the time it comes. It's a tight fit to get a toad in here, but it's been working. It'll be really nice when we get the new barns done. Won't have to deal with some of this stuff. Be a lot more centralized locations. So we're gonna get this tote put away, and then should be done with this job. Bummer. Seeing that it's nice and rainy and wet outside, it'd be a good day to move cattle. So we've got the cattle trailer hooked up and we're gonna run over there. It looks like they just got done 
checking heifers. Or maybe they're going to check this side. I can see them off in the distance. And we're going to move some. So this side here, along with the mirroring on the other side, is our breeding pens. And then this pen is all bred heifers, pregnant heifers. And once they get far enough along, we move them over the dry cows and run them with them until they're close to freshening. So I could use some more heifers out here. So I'm going to go chase them out, see if we can get some more locked up. And then we'll check them and see what we can move. I would say this pen is a little full. I knew we had to move them, but I didn't think there was this many. Still got a whole bunch inside yet. So hopefully some of these lock up and get a bunch of them out of here. Last one. No, oh, now we gotta go back on the trailer. Is it going the wrong way? We're going in the barn. In the barn. Nice and easy. Come on. Come on, Tootsie. Here we go. Oh, number two. Come on, girls. You can do it. Thinking about it. Come on, girl. Let's meet some new friends. Come on, girl. Get out. Go on. Well, you guys keep coming back on. It's supposed to be going off. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go ladies.
Of moving cattle in the rain. Good time. That's why I didn't change my clothes today. I was, I was thinking ahead. We ain't gonna get, and we can change our clothes and not waste a pair of pants. Go, girls. You're ready to move her. Last load. Now we gotta move pregnant heifers and fill this pen back up after moving them out. What's what's considered young stock? I consider it young stock. I don't know if you would. Gotta take the fluid, put it in the solid. Give her a twist. Give her a shove. Mix them together. Everybody gets two and a half cc's right next to their tail under the skin. Hurry up, they're probably all waiting for me. Moving them out of what we call the old barn into the heifer barn. So the, the heifer barn, or what we call the heifer barn, is the barn we just took all those bread heifers out of and moved all those heifers around. And we just moved probably about 60, we probably handled about 80 to 100 animals today so far, and now moving these will probably handle another probably maybe 40 or 50. So there'll probably be about 150 animals today that are getting new homes or rehomed, moved around. So a lot of poop, a lot of poop to be covered in yet, a lot of calves to fight with, but we'll get her done perfect day for it. Like I said, nice and rainy. Thank you. 
Fast forward a little bit, we are over by the steers. It's time to move some big boys around, get them moved. We got three barns that we keep them in, all kind of vary in different sizes. So this barn that we're moving it from is um, kind of a growing or a, probably like a 800 to 1,000, maybe a little less. And we're gonna implant them, move them to the finished barn. We got all the steers implanted over here. We're backing up the trailer, load them up, pull them to the finishing barn over there.
God. Hi guys. See you over there. See you over there. Move along. Hi guys. Come on. Let's go. My help is left. Just dad and I. I got poop on my face. It's gross. I gotta run. I gotta run. He's gonna catch me. But yes. Here I am running. Joke, buddy. Come in here. That'll work. Ready? Come on off. You have arrived. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. There you go. Come on. Two. Two. There you go. All right, we got this pen cleaned out. Now we need to move them inside to make room for littler ones. Hopefully I can get this gate around. Then we got gates inside so I can move them all from the inside. Hopefully it looks like we got enough room to clear. Looks perfect to me. Yeah, we'll see you inside the barn. Oh goodness, what is this monstrosity? This is not good. I'll just struggle with two hands instead of putting you guys down. Got her. Turn this gate around this way. And we're going to chase them all over. Come on, boys. Here you go, chunkers. There you go. Come on, keep her moving. Good work, good work. You guys are doing great. Couple more. Couple more. What do you got going on here? Itching your butt? Great. Go on. You two too. Come on. What are you guys doing over here? Socializing? Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Come on now. You too. Here we go. Good work, guys. Good work. No, not playing the game. Come 
This barn's a slat barn or slat floor. Means there's a barn cleaner that runs underneath it, goes around, so there is absolutely no bedding pack in here. The only bedding essentially is manure. The floor has all got slope to them, so it all works its way into the gutter. And we've had pretty good luck in it. it. Seems to work pretty decent for raising steers. Just in time for a little more rain, letting them out to eat. Check out their new pen. Now I gotta go down. Silly me. You guys like it? They like it. I would clean them out, but there'd really be no point, because one, it's still raining, and two, they get clean tomorrow, so. They're actually not that bad, surprisingly, for how much rain we got. A little bit of manure in here, but it's not bad at all. So, need to pack up here, down on this side. We got some younger ones to do yet. Get them, get that first pen filled back up with younger calves. So, yeah, so far today is going pretty good. What do you guys think? Having fun? So over here is the size of the animals that we're going to be moving over there. They're probably, I don't know. Probably around 600 pounds, 700 pounds maybe. In that area, the bigger ones are maybe towards 700 pounds. Probably some 500 pounders in there. And here's our fenceless cows. They're doing great. They haven't gotten out yet. We got just one poly wire strand doing perimeter, but they're allowed out about that far, straight down, allowed in the ditch. Not quite allowed to go down to the bottom. And so far we haven't had any disobedient cows so far, so. That's good. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Give her a share. Give her a comment. How do you guys raise your steers? Just kind of curious. I mean, I feel like we got a pretty decent program. We've come a long ways from the past. We have improved things, made steers grow more efficiently. So, as far as that goes, I think there's only feed changes and comfortability we can maybe change stuff like that but it's starting to rain so I'm kind of sick of recording the rain because everything's getting wet so I hope this was enough for you guys to enjoy and we'll see you next time thanks for watching thanks for the support